Hello guys, this side Lakshit and today we are going to start C++ programming language. What is a programming language? Uh, it is a language to make programs. What is a program? What is a program? Program is nothing but a set of codes to get desired output. output from certain it from certain input like we give something input the program processes it it is the code for program and gives it gives us output And gives us our output it can be considered like suppose we have to make a T so it depend on the number of people for whom T is to be made for whom T is to be made so according to that sugar will vary milk will vary and other items will vary there are many programming languages like c c++ python java and lot more why c++ because it is more close to hardware when compared to python compared to python which means that c++ is a fast language while python is a slow language hence for cp uh, competitive programming c++ is preferred and a good choice while comparing between C and C++ C++ is preferred because it has more libraries and hence is easier to work with because of its more libraries our work become easy now let us discuss some of the basics of C++ first of all header file uh, as a language is built the developer declares some of the predefined functions and these predefined functions can be accessed accessed through header files header files are of the form the most popular header file is hashtag include iostream we will also do practical applications in the compiler let us discuss theoretically this is the way to include an header file what does iostream means is input output stream it is used for simple programs where input is taken and output is given Another thing is data type. Data type declares the type of the element of the element of what type it is, whether it is an integer, a 
character or decimal you generally float is used for decimal or something else string is also a popular example another thing is some fun uh, also let me tell you one more important thing is that the program the code is written inside the int main the code is written here and execution starts from here only after the int main the execution starts and as soon as this curly bracket closes the fun the program ends and the allocated memory used inside this is released is released coming to another thing let us discuss some of the predefined function basic predefined functions one of the basic predefined functions is c in c in which is used to take input and c out to show the final result or basically output it is c out it can be shown by c out and uh, the input is taken by c in now let us uh, discuss it by applying the concepts in the compiler so i have used online gdb compiler and you can easily access it online so let me remove this part one more thing double slash means that this line is a comment and will not be read by the compiler it is just because that in uh, companies many engineers work in the same program so that every uh, software engineer should understand what another engineer has done so to make them understand comments are used and double slash means that it is a single line comment to make a paragraph there is another way of declaring slash star and everything gets commented until we close the comment section by star slash anything inside this will be a comment this is also a comment make sure to end the comment by star slash and as you know that you can't use this again because as, as soon as you have ended this this is no more a comment so let me remove this now now hashtag include io stream input output stream this is an header file header file using namespace study we will discuss about this later in the video int main the program starts from here and c out hello world it is basically and this is the string inside it anything written inside the double string and c out is used the thing will be copied as it is let me run the program you see hello world has been printed as it is let me change it hello user 
वेलकम टू सी प्लस सी प्लस प्लस इंट्रोडक्शन क्लास इज बाय स्टेप अहेड लेट मी रन दिस अगेन एंड यू कैन सी एवरीथिंग हैज बीन प्रिंटेड एज इट इज नाउ लेट मी कमेंट आउट दिस so now let me declare an integer text data type for integer is int and x is an integer is int and x is an integer remember what this what does this line means x is an integer and remember to end the statement with every statement with semicolon now let me take c in x taking the value of x see out x print print the value of x hope you got what i have done this and let me run this program again so let me the enter the value of x let it be 5 pressing enter we get 5 as an output now let me beautify it see out double quotes enter the value of x and we will discuss the importance of enter later in the video or maybe now and then let me see out the out put is and let me not put the endel here so now let's see the difference let me run this uh, enter the value of x let it be 56 pressing enter the output is 56 now what endel do does is it ends the line as soon as uh, this line is executed enter the value of x i have given instruction that end the line so the pointer will now point to the next line and uh, it will now let me end add endel here and let us see the difference notice that 56 is now in the same line only let me add 56 again and pressing enter you can clearly see that 56 now is in next line so this is the use of endel and the output is printed as it is again coming to the point of using namespace std now what does it do okay let me then remove it and let's see what happens it is saying that c out is not declared in this scope you can see c out is not declared so why and it has given std double dot c out what does this means let me explain that as we have used hashtag and include iostream header file here there are many such files having c out as in function but the word function do varies so to make the compiler understand that this c out belongs to io string what we have to do is we have to add std star dot dot std std we have to add it everywhere where we are using a function now running it again 
we have forgot somewhere to add C in STD. I think now the program should run fine. We have added everywhere. Yes, the program has run. And let me add the value of S66678. The output is 678. So the program is now running correctly. But the problem is that every time adding STD is a difficult task. And uh, those header files uh, are used quite later where another cout is used. So to declare that STD is the standard and every pro every function inside belongs to STD standard template. What we do is that we use using namespace STD. Which makes our writing of code very easy. Our program now STD is applied globally to every. Sorry, we have to write C out here globally to every function it has been applied now let us see again it is running right okay now coming to one of them one of an important question one are glass problem we know that c++ is nothing but or any programming is nothing but thinking capability and writing the code so to increase uh, thinking uh, capability, this is a good problem. Our glass problem. There are two glasses. It takes time seven minutes to end to for the sand to settle down in the end, and it takes eleven minutes. The problem is to measure fifteen minutes. We have to measure 15 minutes through these two glasses. One of the possible solution is that we start, let me take 11 minute standard. We start both at the same time. Let this represents 4 minute and hence this represents the 7 minute. We start both at the same time. So after seven minutes, what will happen is that in one glass, all sand will be at bottom, and in another glass, it will be four minutes above and seven minutes down. Now what we do is that we start measuring time from this moment. Our actual measurement starts at this moment. So what we do is that as soon as these sand, this sand ends, as soon as this sand ends and enters this, we have calculated four minutes. Now we have two glasses, seven minutes this and 11 minutes this now we have to calculate 15 minus 4 is equal to 11 minutes so it is simple again reverse this glass and we will get 11 minutes so the problem is solved but in reality we have used 7 plus 15 minutes. We have also taken this 7 minute. Which is equal to 22 minutes. And we know the competitive programming is all about optimization. And making the program fast. Is there a possible method? To measure exactly 
15 minutes pause the video take your time and then come back to see the solution so now let us discuss the solution so after 7 minutes what happen is that let this is be let this be the 7 minute mark this be 4 minute Seven minute now what we do is we reverse both the we reverse only this uh, glass so what will happen is that we have reversed this seven minute is all above after 4 minutes what will happen is that this will have 3 minutes and above 4 minutes here and this will be 0 this will be all 11 minutes here and till now we have calculated 7 plus 4 is equal to 11 minutes we need to calculate 4 minutes but what we will do is that we will again reverse this and we will get 4 minute again and hence we have calculated the exact 15 minutes Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoy, enjoyed this video and if you have any doubts, comment below. Thank you.